How you doing guys? Just a quick video for you here. Um, this is about a dog collar and a leash. Pretty straightforward things, except for my dog is a retard and continues to kill collars. She killed collar after collar after collar after collar. And it's not like the idea of SUE dog collars are new to me. Uh, I've seen them from other people that have bought them, seen them advertised a million times over again, but I drug my feet until I finally bought one for my daughter um, and then decided to buy one for my retard dog, Reba, who decided to constantly destroy collars. So, simple video coming right at you. So here you go guys, this is it. So this is the collar, and as you can see, it is well worn. Um, she did manage to get the SOE logo almost off of it. And she's had this now probably for, I would say two years, I think. Uh, but the reality is other than, you know, cosmetic things of, you know, it just looking worn and the patch kind of being eaten up, it's there's nothing broken on it uh, what she does is she has a tendency to to run her neck along the uh carpet to get i guess the scratch her itch and that's why it looks the way it does um obviously this is just from use but there's mechanically nothing wrong i have to replace this there's a strip of velcro underneath here um, that's the purpose of it. This is obviously for tags. <clears throat> and it has some pretty wide adjustability. Although, when you order it from SOE, um, there we go. There's that tag, SOE. And they were nice enough to color match to the thread. Um, when you order, they, they do ask you for uh, your dog's neck size. So, it's a good idea to measure it. If you have a puppy, you know, either except the fact that you're going to wind up, you know, having to get it replaced, resized, or size it big enough that, you know, maybe it's loose when they're younger, but fits when they get older. Um, but there's instructions on the website on how to do that. So that's the collar. So that is Reba's collar. This is her leash. Now, her, we've had the leash probably as long as we've had the collar. Um, quite, we have, we have enough of uh, a backyard. They kind of walk, you know, they don't, we don't walk them as much as we probably should. Um, I would basically take them out back and throw the ball, and that's kind of how they get their exercise. Um, they have a really nice, you know, marine style brass catch there. It is ridiculously heavy duty. And this isn't the best color combo ever, which is orange and multicam black, in case you can't see that. That colorway is just gorgeous. And then, now this, if I had thought about it, I would have had them sew it in, or did I have them sew it in place? No, I think I just put it on. I would have had them order sewn in place. This is just basically uh, rats uh, tourniquet or TK4 tourniquet pouch, um, which you can have them sew it on, I believe. Um, but I would email John and ask him. This is for poop bags. You could also use it for, for a rats tourniquet or, or TK4 because that could actually be used for a canine, whereas a normal tourniquet cannot. So that's it guys, pretty straightforward, simple. This, this, when, we, when, you, when you first get this, this is gonna be exceedingly stiff. Um, but as you use it, it kind of softens up. Not that it's bad to use while it's stiff, um, but it definitely softens up a bit with use. And this has really been a fantastic leash. You know, my guess is it'll outlive the pooch more than likely. So that's it guys, just a quick video about a collar and a leash. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you're getting out there, getting into this beautiful weather, into the sun, and into the nature as things warm up. And you're getting your dogs and your kids out there too. Anyway, guys, that's it from us. Hope you're having a great day. And remember, your path is out there. Go find it.